armies, uh, wars are no longer fought just by how many soldiers have you lined up at the at the border. It's what have you done strategically to render your opponent, uh, um, to, to, just to render to, to weaken your opponent or render them incapable of fighting you. This is why the attacks on September 11th worked, because we had a policy that if someone wants to hijack a plane, you follow their instructions. You do not deny them their requests, because the assumption was that if you deny their requests, they will start harming people. And if you follow their requests, it will delay when they harm them, if they harm them at all, and maybe everyone will end up safe. It was not in the game plan that they would crash the plane on purpose. Okay? So, September 12th, you will never again be able to do that to an American plane. Forget the extra x-rays that we're doing. A pilot will never relinquish the cockpit ever again. No matter who they're torturing in the back, in the back of the plane. No matter what they're doing. Even if they're shooting people one by one. Because the plane going down takes everybody out. So that was a pretty easy door to close. Literally and figuratively. But no one saw it coming. You know what drives me crazy? When they put that drink cart mm -hmm. in oh, the hallway. Yeah. To protect the pilot when they open the I door? I asked them about that. So it's just to delay you a fraction of a second to give them a chance to go in and lock the door. Uh. Right. It's, it's, you have to get through them and the flight attendant. That takes an extra second. You can't just run in. Plus, right. they don't even allow you to stand in the aisle while that's happening. They'll yeah, tell you to sit down. you sit down. Correct. Yeah. So you have to get out of your thing, charge the cart, and get through the cart and the flight attendant, who will be fighting for their life at this point, okay? And because the plane is everything. Right. Yeah, I've seen that opening, though. You can get through there. <laughs> Those ladies ain't going to stop me. <laughs> Nobody who really is physically So Joe capable. Rogan has already thought this through. Well, it's the an unfortunate plane. thing that my mind does. The point is, you can... Oh, you, I would never do it, of course. You, you know what? I, I, I thought about... Not that, but... I thought to myself, the plane that went, because I was like, I witnessed September 11th, it's four blocks, six blocks away from, uh, six walking blocks, four Did blocks. Did you actually the witness yes. the plane hit? No, because was, my view was blocked from the south. So, but I have uh, camcorder footage of the explosion, biggest explosion I've ever seen. Um, and by the way, one thing I noticed is that there was no shockwave. I might have been the closest scientist to the event. So I was... All I could do was apply every bit of physics that I know. There was no shockwave. Wow. I said, well, how can we have an explosion and no shockwave? And I later learned, if you, you can make a deflagration wave, if you atomize fuel and then you spark it, then the flame moves across the fuel. It's not a, it's not a shockwave. It's just a deflagration wave. And therefore, there's no shockwave. And so oh. windows are not blown out a quarter mile away as they were in Oklahoma City right. with the giant uh, bomb, with Tim McVeigh. Tim, Tim, Timothy McVeigh. Uh, we, why am I bringing this up? Um, what was I talking about? September 11th. The plane. Oh, uh, the, oh yeah. So here's something I calculated. I said, if I was in a 767 and we're about to crash into a building, if I was in the last row of the plane, how much time would elapse before the front row crumbled and it met me in the back row, given the speed of the plane going into the building? 500 miles an hour? Yeah. Well, it's, it's probably slower than that by then. I would say closer to 400. I mean, it's a known speed, and I don't know it, but I don't think it was as... Because you can't turn at that high a speed and have to like turn around and, and aim. I'd have so, to say it's about a second. Less. Half a, a second. fraction of a second. It's it's a fraction. So the question is Tiny how long does it take a plane to go its own length? Right. When it's going at four hundred miles an oh, hour. Yeah. That's that's Tenth the thing. Of a second. Yeah, it's it's a fraction of a second. So it's like that's it. You can't even Boom. process that. So I figured the deaths were pretty quick. Wow. Instantaneous. Yes, yeah, basically instantaneous.